Hey guys, welcome back to another DIY tutorial. So for today's video, we will be making something new, something that we haven't done before in this channel, and that is to make our very own bag. So this is the first time that I made a bag, and I'm not gonna lie, I made quite a few mistakes here and there, and that's okay. This will be a learning process for the both of us, for you and for me. In the end, the bag turned out really cute. Um, it could be better, but I'm pretty happy with it since it is my first time making a bag. So I just wanna give you guys a heads up because all throughout this video, there are quite a few changes that I made for the bag. First is the interfacing. I suggest if you're going to use an interfacing, use fusible fleece instead, not the woven interfacing because the woven interfacing is kind of like a paper when you um, iron it on the fabric after, after the fabric becomes stiff. It's kind of like a cardboard feel, you know, it, it, it's not that good. So if you're going to make something, use fusible fleece instead. Fusible fleece is kind of like a foam, a very thin foam. So when you flip the bag inside out, it's not going to leave any wrinkles or any marks. It's just going to be smooth. And it will also give your bag the stiffness and the shape that you want. Sorry for the lighting, guys. It's been raining here in the Philippines for quite a few days now and I don't have a red light. I'm just using natural light. So yeah, before we get started, I just want to share with you guys this. I got this from Shopee. It just came in right now. And this is a 32 pieces sewing foot kit. So this is what it looks like. It has 32 pieces of sewing foots. These are different kinds of sewing foots for different purposes. There's a zipper foot, a rolled hem foot, a satin foot over here. This is a satin foot. So it has its names over here at the back. You see that? So I'm really excited that I got this. I've been wanting to have my very own sewing foot because you know, sewing with a regular sewing foot is quite hard sometimes, especially if you're dealing with zippers and hems. It's quite hard. So I have yet to try these out and I will update you guys if it's good or not. So for those of you who are interested, I'll put the link down below at the description box. I got this for 547 pesos, included the discount code from the shop and also the coins that I have. Its original price was 597, I think. It's not less than 600 pesos. It's less than 600 pesos and for 32 pieces, that's a good enough steal. Now before we get started with the tutorial, make sure that you guys are subscribed to my channel and also hit the notification bell down below so that you wouldn't miss any of my new videos and let's get started. So to make the bag, these are its measurements. So for the body of our bag, this is 8 inches wide and 6.5 and inches tall. So you need two pieces, one for the front and one for the back. And then this is our handle cover. This is 5 inches wide and 3 inches tall. For our zipper, you need two pieces. This is 6 inches wide and 1.5 and inch tall. And for the strap or handle of our bag, you will need 40 inches long. So up to here. So from here to here, this is 40 inches long. And then this is 3 inches wide. Now for this one, this is 3 inches and 1 inch. You will also need some interfacing. So this is the body of our bag. You will need 4 pieces of these. 
as you can see we have four pieces and this is for the zipper you need two pieces this one this is for the handle this is 20 inches long and 3 inches wide. Now for the fabric of our bag, I will be using Duchess Satin. This is a heavy satin with a matte back and a shiny front. So you can see that. So for this bag, I will also be using the satin as our lining. So you will need 4 pieces of these. 2 as our outer fabric and 2 as our lining fabric. The same with the zipper. 2 as the outer and two as the lining now for this one this is the handle cover and we also need two pieces for the handles itself so one as the outer fabric and then the other one will be the lining so first thing we're gonna do is to fuse the interfacing with our outer fabric so as you can see here each of our outer fabric for the zipper will have one interfacing now for the body of our bag the outer fabric will have two interfacing this is the back and this is the front of our bag for the handle of our bag, it will also have two interfacings. So as you can see over here, I made a mark. This is the center line of our handle. And for our interfacing, I also made a mark over here. You see that? And this one over here. We're going to align them so that the interfacing will be at the center of our handle. So when ironing on the interfacing, we will be ironing it on the wrong side of the fabric. As for the interfacing, you will see that it will have a shiny side and a matte side. So the shiny side, this is where it will stick. So this should be facing the wrong side of our fabric like so. So this is what it looks like after fusing with the interfacing. As you can see, your fabric will turn stiff. Like so. See? So this is with two interfacings and this is with one. As you can see, this is a bit limp. But not as much as a raw fabric like this without the interfacing. See? That's the difference of an interfacing. And this is with two interfacing. 
So what we're gonna do next is we're going to align our front and back panel with this one. As you can see over here, I made a mark. This is the center of our panels and also over here. So we're just going to align them right sides together like so and then pin them in place. Once you're done pinning, it should look something like this. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to sew on a straight stitch all around the bag over here as close as possible to this white edge of our interfacing. So this is what it looks like after we have sewn on our panel. So as you can see over here at the corners, I made some small cuts so that when we flip it, it wouldn't bunch up at the corners. Now I'm just gonna go and trim ahead the seams and then we are going to sew on the other panel. So this is what it looks like after we have sewed it on together. This is the inside and this is the outside. I also went ahead and made the lining for our bag. It's just the same thing. We just sewed it on together. The only difference is that over here on one side of the panel, we left a small opening in the middle so that when we sew the two pieces together, we can still flip it right side out. So the other side doesn't have that gap. We just have one side of it. So what we're gonna do next is our zipper. As you can see, my zipper is a bit long and that's okay because we will leave two inches on top and then another two inches on the bottom. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to hem all of these zipper panels on top and on the bottom. So this is what it looks like after we have hemmed our zipper panels. So we have four panels. This is the lining and then this is the outer fabric of our zipper panel. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to attach them onto our zipper. And, it's, and as you can see over here, I already made a mark on where I want to start the panels. So I'm going to leave like two inches of our zipper. We're not going to touch this part. We're going to start sewing on this part. So this is what it looks like after we have clipped it onto our zipper. As you can see over here, this is our panel. This is with the interfacing and this one is the lining. So the lining is at the back of our zipper. And then the one with the interfacing is in the front. So our zipper is in between the two panels. So now what we're going to do is we're going to sew on a straight stitch as close to the zipper as possible. And then later, we're going to sew on another straight stitch on top of this one to sew the two pieces together. So this is what it looks like after we have sewn on our zipper. See that? So what we're gonna do next is we're going to take these two. This is the lining and this is the one with the interfacing. But as you can see, the one with the interfacing is kind of wrinkly and it looks like a cardboard. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to turn this into the lining. And this will be the outer fabric instead. So remember, we have a hole over here so that we can flip our bag right side out after we have sewn them together. So to sew them together, what we're going to do is we're going to put this one, the one with the interfacing, inside this bag. So it should look something like this. It is right sides together. You see that? Now we are going to insert in between these two panels the zipper that we made earlier. So to insert the zipper, it should be facing like this. We are going to open it up. So we're going to take this, this part, then insert it in between here. So it should be like that. Now we're just going to clip this part in place and then we're going to insert this part. So it should look like this, see that? This is the other zipper. It should align with the top part of our bag like that. And then for this excess part, we're going to sandwich it in between. Make sure that it's not gonna get caught when you sew on the zipper and the bag together. Now we are just going to sew on a straight stitch all around the bag. And then going up to the handles over here, it should be aligned with each other going around 
like that and then around here and then the other handle as well so this is what it looks like after we have sewed it down as you can see we sewed it around for here and also the straps like that and also on the other side now what we're gonna do is we're going to flip this right side out so as you can see over here we have a hole so we are going to take the fabric out from this hole so after flipping it it should look something like this so this is the fabric with the hole as you can see over here and this is the fabric with the interfacing so what we're gonna do is we're going to make this the one with the interfacing as our lining instead since as you can see it is wrinkly it is kind of like a cardboard um well this is a mistake so i should have probably used a fusible fleece instead of an interfacing so that it wouldn't be like a cardboard you know so we're going to make this one the outer fabric instead and this will be the lining so before that we have to sew the shut we are going to hand sew it with a blind stitch this is what it looks like after we have sewed it shut now what we're gonna do is we're going to flip this the one with the interfacing inside our fabric over here so once you flipped it it should look like this see it looks a lot better like that it doesn't look like a cardboard anymore unlike earlier so now we're just going to flatten out the handles over here and here as you can see it's a bit bubbly so we're going to flatten that out once that's done we are going to cut out the excess for this zipper we're going to leave two inches of it and then cut this off and then we're going to put a covering for the ends of both sides of the zipper so this is what it looks like after we have lined it out this is the handle for our bag and this is the other side so for the zipper i already cut it this is two inches and also over here at the front this is also two inches this is a handle cover that we cut out earlier we are going to cut this in half because now i think it's too big for our handle so we're going to cut this in half first half will be the handle cover itself and then the other half it will be the covering for our zipper over here so this is the covering for our zipper this is half an inch wide and two inches long so as you can see i just folded up the edges now what we're gonna do here is we're going to fold it in the middle like so so it should look something like this when you put it on the zipper the zipper will go in between here and this is what it looks like after we have pinned it so what we're gonna do is we're just going to sew on a straight stitch around the edges over here this is what it looks like after we have sewed it on to the zipper and this is the other side now what we're gonna do next is the handles now for the handle we're going to make a knot like that once you're happy with how it looks you're going to secure it in place by hand sewing it in the middle so over here we have our handle cover i folded it twice like so and then over here we're going to fold it once and also over here as well we're going to fold it once so we're just going to wrap this around the knot that we made and then we're going to sew on a blind stitch to secure it in place so this is what our finished bag looks like it can stand on its own although it's not perfect but it will do So that is it for our DIY bag. It turned out pretty cute. Um, sorry for the noise. It's currently raining right now. So yeah. So for the bag, for a first time DIY, it's not that bad. But it could be better. Um, probably since I am a perfectionist. So that's why I think it could be better. So for our upcoming videos, it's going to be DIY bags. Different kinds of styles of bags. Um, we're not going to be doing 
clothes for the time being because you know I got bored with clothes I want to try something new instead so I decided why not make some bags so that is it for today's DIY guys I hope you learned a lot from this and also I hope you learn from my mistakes for those of you guys who have any comments suggestions or recommendations please do comment them down below I am very happy to read them especially those of you who comment about um, suggestions on how to make my DIYs better. I love reading those comments because it lets me know that you guys actually do watch my videos. So I just want to thank you guys for always watching and supporting my video. Thank you, thank you so much. So that is it for today's video guys. I hope you like it. If you do, please hit like. Also for those of you who haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe and also hit the notification bell down below so that you wouldn't miss any of my new videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!